Being in a relationship with a narcissist is a very volatile experience. The level of volatility and swings and emotions that you experience when in a relationship with them is much greater than that that you would experience in a relationship with somebody who is healthy. And if I had to summarize in one word, the best word that describes a narcissistic, a narcissistic relationship, I would say that it is, I would say that the best word is confusing. Because the emotions that you feel are very confusing. Because you start off completely mesmerized by them. And the reason you were mesmerized by them is probably because they were mesmerized by you. You were somebody new, somebody they were interested in, somebody they were interested in getting to know. And when narcissists are mesmerized by somebody, they apply intense focus on that person through the, the, the love bombing and idealization, which sets you at euphoric heights. You just feel lifted off the ground with the attention that they give you and all their gestures. But then it doesn't take long after that initial euphoric phase where they start to withdraw from you a little bit. They start to go a bit quiet, a bit diffident. And that usually happens quite suddenly, the switch, which doesn't really, you don't really see it coming and there's no reason for it, but they just do it. The fact that their whole behavior, their whole demeanor towards you shifts and changes, it can cause intense anxiety, stress, and fatigue in you, which of course prompts you to want to seek an answer. So maybe after you're going through this phase where they seem a bit more withdrawn for days or weeks, however long, you might ask them if everything's okay. You might confront them with it. In which case, it's not uncommon for them to say, oh yeah, of course, everything's fine. And they kind of give you a mini love bomb again, telling you that you have nothing to worry about. They make you believe that you were seeing skeletons where there were none. So if that is the response which they give you, which is quite common, that causes you to feel an, an immense feeling of relief. You know, like you can breathe again, which is a great thing in a way, but it also causes you to question your own sanity. And if you're imagining things, like why were you coming to these conclusions? Why were you so nervous? So that in itself, that stage in itself is something which is really hard to get your, your hand around. But then let's say the relationship progresses, the narcissist does something bad, maybe you caught them lying, maybe it's very visible that they have certain negative behaviors which shouldn't be tolerated, can be many things, and let's say you call them out on it. I mean, sometimes they'll just deny and deflect and reproject whatever you blame them for and say that you're the one who does it or that you're imagining it or... but. Sometimes they will actually accept what you're saying, especially if they cannot deny it. So if you call them out on something that they're doing or in a way they're behave, behaving that they cannot deny, maybe they've been promising for two weeks, they wash the dishes, they never have, or it can be more serious things. Very easily, narcissists can turn themselves into a victim. They might bring up something that happened in their childhood which gave them some kind of trauma so they keep, maybe they're forgetful or that they never had a certain, I don't know, some kind of support that basically influences their behaviors today. And they're very apologetic, but in this very visible victimhood mindset that kind of like explains where their maladaptive behaviors. You know, they might even apologize to you while pretending they're the victim. But not the victim of you, but the victim of somebody else or some other circumstance. Narcissists are very good at playing the victim in such a way where you pity them. So even if you were very mad at them before, even if you like felt like, you know, you know, I'm going to, I want to strangle this person, metaphorically speaking, or not. Um, no, seriously, met metaphorically speaking, um, you all of a sudden go from that anger to, to pitying them. All of a sudden, you see this broken child that you want to console, comfort, and love. 
But how do you go from being so angry and fed up with them to now all of a sudden wanting to care for them and love them? Well, narcissists are good at that. They're causing you to feel that switch in feelings. And so on. So they get, they, in a way, they can get away with what they do. Because then they'll start a new cycle of doing something negative. And after one or two months, they, you call them out. They'll play the victim mindset again, etc. You see, you, you see how the cycle goes. Um, and I'm not even gonna get. I'm not even gonna get into the whole discard and you know the intense devaluation prior to the discard because at that point you're just living hell, and you know, you know there are other videos on that. I've done plenty of videos and I will again. So I'm not gonna get into too much detail, but that's another intense feeling when you feel like your world is crumbling, you know, because the ongoing and steady devaluation can be quite torturous. But yeah, you can see. The, the state of confusion, the toll which a narcissistic relationship places upon you. It's not very fun.